गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर नंबर सेवन सेंसेस सो वी हैव रीच्ड अप टू बाई यूजिंग एन इन्फिनेटिव हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू जॉइन टू सेंटेंसेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ इन्फिनेटिव वी लर्न टूडे नो सी दिस सेंटेंस ऑलरेडी गिवन इन योर बुक शी वर्क वेरी हार्ड टू सक्सीड इन लाइफ she works very hard she wants to succeed in life why what is the reason why she is working hard as she wants to get success so reason is this whenever we are given reason in the sentence we can use infinitive so she works very hard to succeed in life what is the purpose what is the reason of working hard to succeed in life so we have used infinitive too what is the meaning of infinitive to plus first form of the verb clear so now have a glance on the another example he did not have even a penny with him he could not buy a piece of bread why he needs money what is the reason to buy a piece of bread so we can write like this he didn't have a even a penny to buy a piece of bread what is the purpose of having a penny to pay, to buy a piece of bread so we have used to plus buy first form of the verb third sentence the team has a captain he leads the team has a captain he leads other team members why the team has a captain what is the reason to select a captain for the team the team has a captain to lead other team members to lead other team member what is the purpose to lead to plus first of the form of the verb other members of the team i speak the truth i am not afraid of it so why i speak the truth because i don't have any afraid so this is the reason of telling or speaking truth i am not afraid to speak the truth so whenever we are given reason specifically reason or solution so we are going to use to infinitive so now the next part uh, next criteria to join two sentences into a single whole is by using a participle that is given under d part turn to the right you will find the bank turn to the right you will find the bank so what the participle tell us how to turn where to turn so adjective participle means adjective verb acting as an adjective turning to the right where to turn to the right you will find the bank who is going to turn you so turning to the right is a participle phrase which is acting as an adjective to you turning to the right you will find the bank turning ing form of the verb it is heading the whole sentence so this is a participle now have a glance on the other examples the thief cut through the padlock he opened the wooden door how he opened the door he means we are going to tell uh, about the activity of the person how he did all these things when there is a question of how so we are going to use participles like this the thief cut through the padlock he opened the wooden door he uh, otherwise as we have already done uh, that adjective is a word that tells us something about the noun or a pronoun विद विच इट अकर्स जिस भी एडजेक्टिव के साथ सॉरी नाउन के साथ यूज किया जाता है जो एडजेक्टिव वर्ड ये इसके बारे में कुछ ना कुछ हमें बताता है कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन देता है सो हियर द होल सेंटेंस थी द थीप कट थ्रू द पैटलॉग द थीप ये सारा सेंटेंस जो है ना दिस होल फ्रेज दिस होल क्लॉज इज टेलिंग अस समथिंग अबाउट ही हु इज ही ही इज द थीप सो दिस होल विल एक्ट एज एन एडजेक्टिव मीन्स participle phrase cutting through the padlock this is a participle phrase and cutting through the padlock the thief opened the door next 
he disguised himself as a cleaner he entered the bank how he entered the bank we are going to tell something about he how he is doing all the activities so he disguised how he went by disguising himself so it will be disguising himself as a cleaner comma he entered the bank so this participle as a verb acting as an adjective is called present participle now in the next sentences we will do past participle also i will differentiate them also the lightning flashed vividly the lightning flashed vividly it struck the church building how it struck the church building flashing vividly so flashing vividly telling us something about the lightning so this is an adjective and it will coin the participle phrase flashing vividly the lightning struck the church building so now i will differentiate three participles we have present participle in english past participle and present perfect participle let us start with the present participle i will firstly take a very simple sentence and how i am going to alter three of them he is a boring man he put other people to sleep during the discussion this these are the two simple sentences we are going to join them together with the help of participle so here is a question how the boring person uh sorry he is a boring man he put other people to sleep how he put the other people sleep because he is a boring man so how question is there so we will have to uh, see he is a boring man how that person is the whole uh, this first sentence is telling something about this he who is this he a boring man so this is a adjective which is telling us something about he whenever these type of sentences we have we are given two sentences in which one sentence is telling something about the subject of the next sentence we will use participle phrase clear so he this whole clause is uh, working as an adjective to he so that's why we will use participle the boring man the boring man present participle we have used which kind of person he is boring man put other people to sleep during the discussion used as an active adjective why we have used present participle because man the man is doing the action he is giving the speech he is a doer of the action so if we are going to use boring word with this person who is the doer who is active we will use present participle agar humne is पार्टिसिपल को यूज करना है उस डूअर के साथ हु इज द वर्कर ऑफ द हु इज द डूअर ऑफ द एक्शन हु इज इंडल्ट इन द एक्शन हु इज द सब्जेक्ट देन वी विल यूज प्रेजेंट पार्टिसिपल बट इन द सेकेंड केस सी द बोर्ड मैन इट मीन्स ही हैज ही हैज गॉट बोर्ड बाई सम एल्स किसी और ने उसे बोर किया है सो ही इज अ पैसिव ही इज नॉट ही इज अ पैसिव पर्सन ही इज नॉट हिमसेल्फ डूइंग एनी थिंग ही इज रिसीविंग द एक्शन so that's why we have used past participle past participle is used with passive adjectives this is a passive adjective he has got bored by someone so the man went to sleep during the discussion but past participle in the present participle we use first form of the verb plus ing in the past participle we use second form of the verb as an adjective but in the perfect participle we use having plus th uh, third form of the verb so we are to use perfect participle as it is quite obvious from the tenses only that uh, present perfect tense past perfect tense future perfect tense are used to denote a complete action so here also the same case the boring man went to sleep usne already come apna complete kar liya which work he has given the he has delivered the speech already so having delivered his speech wo apni speech dene ke baad he has already completed this section the boring man went to sleep so perfect participle shows the completion of the action that the boring person has already done this work 
so this is how you are going to use these three participles to join the sentences those sentences in which the first sentence is acting as an adjective to the doer of the sec second or uh, second or the next sentence clear so it can be the second sentence it can be the first sentence according to the situation only